If you're looking for a way to get your fire started, check out ProCampTech.com. They've got fat rope stick, fire strip roll, and more. Check them out, ProCampTech.com. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're talking about my new everyday carry bag. This is the VanQuest Katara 16. You can see it comes in multi-cam black. That's the color I chose. I also got the uh, black Hydra water bottle carrier here on the side. Um, this pack has been my EDC for probably about two months, I would say. The reason I got it is because I really wanted organization. So I'm going to talk through what I'm actually carrying in the bag as I talk through the different features of the bag as well. So let me give you some of the details on the outside. We have a bunch of external pockets, as you can see right here. We've got this lower one, which unzips. And I don't have a ton of stuff in here, but we do have a lower section here that you can see through with the zipper. We do have a couple pockets, one here, one here, and then a larger one. In the larger one, I keep my uh, med kit. So this has got some, it's got a SWAT tourniquet. It's got some basic like uh, medications. It's also got some, um, it's got a, a bunch of band-aids. So uh, up here on the top, you can see we've got a hook and loop panel. I've got my Haley strategic patch and also my everyday tactical vids patch. Let me know if you want to purchase one of those. Those are available. Um, open this section up. Got a couple tools here. So I've got a, um, very small flashlight, I got some pepper spray, I have a backup Swiss Army knife, and then I have a Leatherman multi-tool here. This is the Skeletool in the, uh, in the brown, you can see there. So that is generally for me, like, I mean, just to have, you know, the tools around, but also if I, like, for some reason I forget to put my flashlight in my pocket in the morning, and I go to work, now I've got my, um, I've got my backup there. Got a little bit of uh, church literature there, and then over here we've got another pocket. I don't have anything in this pocket. My goal is not just to fill a um, to fill a pack with gear just to fill it, but actually, what do I actually use, or or you know, what would I utilize during the day? Not just have a ton of extra gear. And I've definitely honed in over the years because I used to carry a ton of extra gear, and I'm just trying to kind of re refine and refine and refine. So those are those two pockets. You can see here's the Hydra on the side. One of the great things, and I got a water bottle in it just to pull in springs. Uh, one of the great things about the Hydras is that this bungee, which is kind of out of the way now, but that can expand obviously a lot, so you can fit a huge water bottle um, into the uh, into the Hydra. That attaches to the side where there's a um, this material right here, which is laser cut molly that's built into the side of the pack here, so you can attach it to either side as you want. Over here on this side, you can see a clear look at that laser cut molly. You can see we have a couple snaps here. I generally don't keep these snapped just because I want you know quick, easy access to the gear that's in my bag, but that gives you another level of retention as well, keeping your stuff nice and safe. Now, one of the things about this pack is that on the back here, you can see I've got my little um, stream light flashlight, one of their 90, 90 degree angle lights, um, and that rides right, you know, right about here on me so I can grab a hold of it. Um, I realize I have another small one, small flashlight in my bag, but this is just like quick, easy access so I can grab it at any moment. Um, we do have webbing here to attach gear, nice comfortable straps. You can also convert this from a backpack to a sling pack as well. So basically you can see up here, we've got this snap. You're going to pop this off, you remove one of the straps, and then you set it up, you know, over your right shoulder to left hip or left shoulder to right hip. So that's a nice feature of this pack. I don't use the, uh, let me just show you the back real quick, some nice uh, comfortable breathable padding there. I don't use the conversion to sling bag really ever. Um, it is a nice feature if you want that, but I, that's not something I use, but I just like the pack in general. Um, plenty of straps to set, set this up at different you know heights or levels. Um, there is a sternum strap there that goes across the front, no whistle in that, just to let you know, and no um, waist strap for this guy. It does have a nice neoprene pad on the grab handle up here. I think that's really nice, so that's a plus. And we do have a little bit of webbing on the bottom there if you want to attach some gear. Uh, the main section of the bag opens like this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down flat and then show you what's inside because that's where even more of the organization happens. I do want to mention real quick, there is a pass-through up on the top here if you want to run a hydration bladder inside and then out, and you can attach it right where that hook and loop is, or this one as well, so it's not you know flailing all over the place. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know I really like VanQuest. They keep their stuff organized, it's thoughtfully designed, it's high quality. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look inside and we can check out the organization in there. 
All right, so here it is folded totally open. You can see we got that high vis orange, which is really nice. What I have here are three of the different packing cubes. So these are the smaller ones and then the medium sized. Um, you can't fit a ton more in. You could probably fit three of the small. You definitely could fit three of the small. But um, that's this side and then over here I have my computer and a couple things. So let me show you this side first. All right, so these are supposed to be see-through. You can see in here, like you could say I got some pens in here, but they're not like super see-through. It's not like clear plastic or something like that. So that's just something to know. On the back they do have hook and loop. So this one has two patches there and there's only a little bit of hook and loop at this um, top section, but it still does attach and it'll stay in place. I haven't had any issues. Nice big zipper pulls in here. This is where I keep all my tech. So like a little flash drive, I got my charging cords, I have an extra um, uh, anchor battery in there, headphones, or yeah, headphones. You can see I got these little Travax organizers. These things are awesome. They're leather, really nicely made. They keep all my gear nice and organized. So that's in there. Second one down, I've got pens. I've got um, a tied to go stick. What else do I have in here? Sharpie. I've got business cards in my little VanQuest wallet and then I've got some ETV patches in case I bump into somebody um, you know a friend of mine or somebody I want to give them a patch so there's that and this third one down here I've got a Shimog scarf so these zip like halfway down so you can see that's all nice and folded up in there I used this the other day in a meeting it's the summer but it was so cold in the building I was in I was like wrapping that around me so everyone was laughing but I was warm so so uh, let me take these off real quick you can see you've got hook and loop there. You can fit um, a very small um, uh, computer in here. Definitely built for more of like an iPad or something like that. I've got a Mac Air with a, little, a very thin case on it and it won't fit in here. It just bulges out too much. So a small computer, but it's definitely very tight. So I just don't put it in there. It's just not worth the time and effort to do that. I just put it on the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. One thing is when I'm zipping up, you want to make sure all your handles are in are in the zippers and the handles so that they don't get uh, you know caught up on the zipper. All right, so over here on this side, uh, I put my laptop flat and then I basically close it up and it rides totally fine. But take this out of the way, you can see I've got four different books. I generally lay them like this, so two and two, and then the laptop on top of that. Then you've got a uh, mesh, so, uh, you know, the see-through mesh here and then a see-through mesh up here. This you can attach other. Um, you know those hook and loop organizers if you want if you weren't carrying a laptop and all you had was an iPad I think this pack would be like ideal you could just store so much gear with those hook and loop organizers it would be awesome you can um, get this out of the way and just you know attach the attach your gear to here I think you can roll this down just leave it at the bottom basically so I'll zip that up up in this top zipper I just have oh there's I've got a couple things that I'm working on reviews for so that's the Streamlight macro stream and yeah, just some of the instructions and stuff. So that's in here. Again, I'm not using that really for anything. It's just there because I'm going to be reviewing. We do have some elastic here on the side and on this side as well. Overall, the build is really excellent. I mean, Vanquist just makes great gear. Let me lay these down nice and flat. Put this here. Fold this over. And then zip up this side. Zip up this side as well. So at the time of this video, you're looking at $169 for the pack, or $169.99, I believe it is, and then about $22 bucks for the um, the Hydra for your water bottle. So you're looking close to $200, bucks, definitely an investment. The quality of the pack is excellent. Again, you got to make sure it fits the size of the gear that you're using. I know my buddy from Survival on Purpose, uh, Brian, over there, joked the other day about his VanQuest pack that he uses for the gym. He's like, I just can't kill this thing. It just is so solid. Um, he has a larger pack, so he's bringing a lot more gear into the gym, you know, as far as clothing and stuff like that, I would guess. Um, but yeah, great pack, great organizational um, options that it gives you, especially with those Velcro organizers inside those packing cubes, or organizational cubes, I guess for me. And then the other thing is that if you want a pack that can go backpack or sling bag, this is definitely a good option. But this is one I'm rocking for EDC uh, and have been for the last two months, and it's definitely a, uh, a good product. So wanted to let you know what I was carrying and how I got to have it organized, and let's, uh, let's hear your thoughts and your feedback on this pack and especially if you own other VanQuest packs I want to hear from you guys and what your thoughts are on them. Alright guys thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.